Let's have a look at how to texture this girl character using multi-view projection, autofill, and colorless in-paint mask. So I'm gonna jump into multi-view and increase number of cameras to three. I want to get the side views and also one back view, so we can see rear portion of the head. I'm going to increase the number of images to two and start the generation. Also pay attention to the prompt, the positive, what we want to see, and the negative, what we don't want to see. I'm picking between the two resulting images because with multi-view projection I'm looking for the consistency. And I can start to blend the cameras by jumping into the blend mode and do it that way, but today we're just gonna YOLO it and uh, do it through the in-painting entirely. So jumping into the in-paint and selecting the peak original, I'm going to fill the entire object using the color or the mask, and then select no color to specify that it's gonna be a simple mask. It's not gonna be dictating any kind of color to our image, just gonna be a colorless mask. And going to reconsider it or rethink by about 59% or 60%, and because we're now on single camera, I can reduce the resolution from 1K just to 768 and look at her like that. Generating the art, I can pick between the two images and it's important to get rid of the seams on her sides by using the far and the soft sliders. Those can help us get rid of the most obvious seams on the corners. And then for the rest of the image, I'm gonna activate the in-paint and with the wear empty mode, remove whatever I've painted and the blur of about 0.6, so it spreads a little bit more around the empty areas, I'm going to generate. It's gonna fill the empty areas, and uh, we are just looking for the rough result, because we're gonna iterate on it later on. Similar for this side, activating the in-paint with the wear empty, just uh, looking at the empty spots, and uh, generating the image again. So now let's uh, solve this situation with the ears. Now I'm switching to another mode, Peak original, and selecting another brush, like uh, its hardness is about medium, and gonna reconsider it or rethink by about 77%. So it's gonna look at the overall situation with the ear and uh, reimagine it with about 77% new stuff. Let's do the same thing for the ear here, activating in paint, no color, so uh, check her mask, painting it on the nose and also on the ear. And I can see that I forgot to erase the stuff from the previous iteration, so I'm gonna erase it. 77% rethink, peak original, and you can see that it reconsiders it completely, and the blackness is gone, because the rethinking or denoising strength was pretty strong. Deleting whatever I painted, and just gonna touch up on the nose once again. And as I'm doing this, it's important to keep the same context, overall context, uh, pretty much the same, because we still have the same positive prompt and the negative prompt with a girl with the blonde hair and so on. So I'm looking at her from the spots where it still makes sense to stable diffusion. We are rendering with one camera, so I've reduced the resolution down to 512 to increase the generation speed. And you can see that I'm trying to get rid of this red color on her chin. Let's remove my previous masks whatever I've painted before. I need to use the rethink strength that is higher because I want the stable diffusion to reimagine the chin completely differently compared to what it is right now. We are using the no color mask, which looks like checker, but you could always turn it off and paint using colors. So during the in-paint rethinking process, your colors will be considered. It's good for hiding away shadows or painting away glossy parts. But here I'm just using a no-color mask, so that stable diffusion works with whatever colors are already beneath that mask. Because we are relying on in-painting so heavily, it is worth mentioning that the modal, the neural network that we're using, might require a VAE. So you can see in the pink drop-down, right now it's none, because our neural network actually contains a VAE, which is like a filter. But if you do notice that the in-paint results in desaturated colors, that most likely means that your neural network doesn't have a VAE, and you should download it from Civit AI and use it in the pink dropdown. However, in my case, I don't need it, and it would actually mess things up. I'm gonna activate the in-paint once again, remove my old mask, brush on her hair, and it's important to keep the rethink quite high here because you saw there was blackness in the hair and if the rethink strength is a little then it might blend better but it means that the blackness is gonna remain in the hair 
and we want the blackness to disappear. So we have to find a good balance between low rethink and good blend and a very strong rethink where the blackness disappears, but might create something entirely different. And I noticed that there is an issue on the chin, but that's just due to the geometry, 3D geometry uh, of the mesh. You can fix it in any kind of uh, modeling software by using a smooth brush, specifically on the triangles and the polygons of this mesh. Let's do also for the hair here. And because I'm doing the batch count of two, I was saved here because I could pick between the weird face uh, option and also the right image, which worked better. So here is the final result. We got a nice uh, looking girl. The projection looks mostly okay here. I'm gonna collapse all of the projections, all of the icons into one single image. This usually saves the VRAM and it's uh, good to do it sometimes during the workflow. I'm gonna increase the overall resolution of the entire scene to 4K and save the final texture like this using the dilation. So you can see the overall image looks like this. It has some nice stretching around the UV chunks, which means that you're gonna have uh, no seams on this texture. And that is basically how you texture an entire object using multi-view projection and then just selectively fixing the seams uh, here and there using the peak original and the colorless mask.